hello again okay so welcome back to another sit down video where again these are past events that happened so we are still trying to buy a house at this point we andrew and i from however long ago and the first clips that you're going to see right after this are us sitting down and talking about all the houses that we've looked at and then we just um placed an offer on a house and again like it's just fun to look back at these and watch and that some of it is funny and we're just like doing different things going look at houses i just try to go through our text with our realtor to see like what house this was that we had looked at because i think this is like our third offer that we placed on a house but we have had looked at multiple other houses before we placed this offer again but it wasn't letting me like scroll back that far so um yeah let's go ahead and get into it and i hope you guys um like this or find it relatable because it was not it was still very stressful and not a fun process. And you want to tell them what we just did for the second time? <laughs> what do you mean for the second time? What did we do the first time? Oh, offer asking on a house? Yeah. Well, they don't even know the story of this house. Okay. Well, do we want to give them the story? They would say probably what we should do. Let's get you situated here. Okay. So... Corey and I placed an offer on a house that we really... That's going to look terrible. <laughs> what feel like? <laughs> no. It's okay. Okay. Excuse the lighting. Alright. Corey and I, I placed an offer on a house a few days ago for under asking. Hoping... Well, no, wait. I thought we should tell them about the other house. What other house? The, the house first one? that we originally put the offer on. Oh, did we never say anything about no, that? No, we haven't. Updated. Oh, wow. All right, it's been over a week since the last real big update, I guess. That's we placed an offer on a house. Don't put your hand there. It's going to shade on your face. <laughs> well, okay. It's very bright. It's okay, <laughs> just keep your mind. <laughs> I'm leaving all of this in. We placed the offer that we placed the house on the first house did not get accepted we were told that we were going to be able to counter offer they lied they basically called us the next day and said that they are not giving us a chance to counter offer they already had an agreement so basically from what we understand someone probably came in over asking and you're talking so fast because we have a time limit to me we've been recording for seven oh or two minutes whatever time's going fast but then like I said, we basically got bought out of counter offer, <laughs> and then. But it would be crazy, and it was the first house we put an offer on, so be, we'd be like, we should do the lottery if we got the first house we ever put an offer on. And you know what? If that's ever happened to you, good for you. That you get the first house you put yeah. an offer on. Because this is stressful. Well, think about. Okay, so then to keep explaining, we visited a few more houses, and then on Thursday, this Thursday of the previous week, mm -hmm. house got listed when I was at work that we both really enjoyed, and really wanted to go see, go see, put an offer on. More than likely, it's it was built in 1994. It was the newest home that we had looked at. Most of the homes were in the 70s or 60s, because living out here in this area is very expensive. But I really like this area. Yes. Corey wants to live in one of the more expensive areas around here that literally costs. It just so happens to be more expensive. Yes, it's not because it's expensive. It just so happens to be expensive. So this is in a different area, still a nice area around here, but a little bit newer. Um, and we came in, we're like, well... We knew that what they're asking is the value of the home is correct, but we maybe didn't want to spend that much. Or I thought we looked at the other We Well, we looked at other properties. homes, and older homes were selling for a little bit less, but these homes were 20 years older than the home that we were looking at. We're like, oh, well, I thought they were just like in the neighborhood. They are, but they're much older. And then there were houses that sold for more than this house was asking for. 
but we talked to their agent. Well, we didn't. Our realtor did. Basically, we thought we would get the house because they were con contingent on the house they just bought and selling their house within the same timeline of us needing to be out of both of our leases. So it basically sounded like we could get the house. And then we didn't hear an answer for a few days after we made this lower offer. And then obviously if any of you have been through this or you're going to go through this, you should know that that time is anxiety ridden and you're already telling all your friends and family like, oh, here's the house we placed an offer on and you're... And we also <coughs> went and looked at other houses and after seeing this house, well, most the ones, some of them we did look at were shitty, like literally the one house was like one about house, to cave in. One on house, itself. there was a house that was terrible that was asking for 10 grand less than this house. Is that half the size the of this house. The 289 one? Well, we shouldn't say cost. It was 289. Well, I'll show you what it looked like. Well, let's worry about that at another time. Okay. And then, <clears throat> so basically, we were kind of sticking with our guns. We plan on putting 10% down, which means you can ask for a certain amount of closing costs to be covered. And we were going to be like, well, someone, the realtor told us that there was multiple offers on the house that we placed an offer on. And we kind of had resided to... Well, sometimes I wonder if they say that just to try to get more money out of us. No, because then they would have just came back with a counter offer, I feel. They were sitting You're back a realtor. Well, let us know. What, is, what are your tactics? I think there's also some legality to it also. They have a... Uh... Mm, I wouldn't care. Well, then you can lose your license. So that's probably good that you're not a <laughs> How realtor. would they prove? How could they ever It's know? all legal. It's the same thing where they can say... Well, our realtors already explained all this. Corey apparently wasn't listening. But, yes, yeah, so <laughs> KK just gave us a call basically to give us a... Uh, he bullied us. A boot forward to say offer asking, By half closing, and say that we want an answer within the next hour. So that call was... Uh, five minutes ago. We don't know if they've already accepted another offer, so this call could have been completely worth nothing and we could once again be getting our hopes up. Obviously there's some stress involved because it's more money than... It's not more money than we can afford. It's just more money than what... Than what we I'm thought we were going to spend. Or comfortable with. Well... I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Corey has an idea of where she would want to be, but... We've, I've been trying to explain to her that a house is an investment. We're pouring money into rent. If you can afford a house, it's kind of smarter to put it into a house because you're not losing money by doing that. But now yeah, it's... We're not overstretching ourselves. I can promise you that. We are We are still, I think, 50 grand less than what we were pre-approved for. So... We're within our means, according to lenders, which lenders will always pre-approve you for quite a bit. But, yeah, that's kind of the point that we're at. We're... Yeah, but they probably didn't even understand half of what you said because you talked at, like, 10 miles per hour. Okay, well, you're the only one who does real slow. Yeah, because I want them to hear and understand what I'm saying. We're going to chit-chat. Okay, well, this video is going to be, like, 40 minutes long. Oh, we can break it up. In the two videos. Oh, wait, wait, one hour. <laughs> Look, let's see. You can see how my parents uh, encourage us. It is uh, rather aggressive, which, if you guys know KK, you know that he is not the calmest person, but he has done very well for himself and my family, so there's a reason to trust him. And he kind of told us a story about him building what would be my family's second home and how it made him feel and how he was able to push through that. So, and that was on one salary also because my mother was not working at the time and was not making money off of YouTube. So we have two good jobs. We're smart. We're really hoping you guys like this channel. <laughs> Corey wants us to become the new Our Family Nest. I'm going to start selling my feet. So if you're interested. I'm going to start selling my feet, which I know you're actually interested for. 
I might sell my soul. I've already done that. I might sell. I might sell you. For what? The ladies, or men, or non-binary. I didn't know that this was part of all of the agreement, <laughs> honestly. I might have not made that call just now. <laughs> but yeah, we're currently... Is panicking the right word? Stress. I don't know if it's necessarily stress. You were so stressed that you were hot earlier. I was hot because you were breathing on my face. <laughs> It just so happened because that the right side of my face was I wasn't breathing, I was laughing because <laughs> you were having a panic attack. It was more of an anger attack. So, oh, another thing is we need to be able to tell our apartment. Our leasing our, office by Tuesday. That we don't want to renew our leases. And if you're watching this, Tuesday is in three days yeah so it's basically either we do this or we have to start paying month by month to secure a place to live in the near future it's fun times right so, now so i imagine the next update will be a yay or a they already accepted an offer and now we <laughs> look like idiots <laughs> but damn did we give it our all <laughs> we left nothing on the court you went out there and you gave it your all, kid. USA. So hard. USA. We have just looked at so many I mean, in, interesting houses. In two weeks, if I did my math right, we've been we've looked at 11 houses. Two of which we were willing to make offers on. One being this one, and one being the one that we lost. Yeah. But this house by far is the nicest house we've looked at. They're really... If we're nit, the only problems that we have with it is nitpicking. Basically, if you really get down to it, there's not yeah. big problems with no. the home. There's anything is is just plans that we would have for the future, which I think helped us decide. Yes, this is probably worth the investment, and this would be a family home, a long-term home, and I want to die. <laughs> so thanks for watching <laughs> like I said later on tonight I'm sure we'll have something for you okay. so hi guys and good evening good morning for me because I just woke up like an hour ago for work tonight god this is annoying there sorry the student was annoying but we didn't get the house we really didn't even hear an answer honestly but we're just assuming we didn't get the house, so we're at another house. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to meet at 5. It's either 5 or 5.30. I'm pretty sure it's 5. It's 4.51 right now. So I am early, so no one's here yet. Actually, I think that might be our litter. E I hope it is her. Yeah. So Andrew's just not here yet. The driveway is very weird for this house but and it's also very old inside so the last house that we put an offer on was so so nice so i don't know we'll see um but yeah so we're gonna look at this one and again now we only have today's sunday so sunday monday tuesday three days to tell our leasing offices if we're staying which if anything we'll just stay at my apartment it's bigger and it's just nicer so i'm just being a brat <laughs> basically but we we will see what this house looks like we're kind of skeptical but i mean i wouldn't be opposed to just like redoing everything it's more like andrew that's like well, that ta that can be done later down and oh the garage door is opening why is this garage door opening? <laughs> so the homeowners were still home and they just opened the garage door. This cute little old lady opens opens the garage door, doesn't say anything, and just starts slowly backing out of the garage. Still not saying anything, doesn't even like 
signal so I turned my Jeep back on and I don't there's nowhere for me to go because she's already backing out so I couldn't like 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 I'll show you the driveway is just so weird like you come up there and then she came out of this one right here so I'm I'm right here so I couldn't like turn and go back out I just had to like back up into this person's yard and <laughs> So she gets out and she's like turning and then she's going like this and she like looks at me and then she just gives me a cute wave and then she just leaves. And my realtor's like laughing. Uh, yeah, that was funny. So she's opening it now. So definitely was at five, but yeah. So we'll see what it looks like. We'll see it in there. It's so funny. I wonder if she, like, is forgetful. Oh, Andrew just got here. If we did get this house. I'm sorry, don't come for me, but all of this would have to go. Sorry. No, you're okay. I feel like I never think about the fact that I have to have fish during Lent until it's Lent time. And I'm like, those are the days that I want chicken the most. You know what I'm saying, Bo? <laughs> you want to tell them where we are? Huh? You can tell them where we are. We're at Wolf Creek Tavern. This was recommended by the president of my company because we need to find places that'll let us do Lent options. So it's Friday. It's Friday, so no chicken, no beef, no pork, just fish. Except for on St. Patty's Day. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were told that we're allowed to have corned beef on St. Patty's Day if we just have fish on like another. Thursday. No, we have to do something during Lent on another day. Oh, I thought. But that was by the that was I don't know if that was every Archbishop, but that was the <laughs> Bishop of Cleveland. Yeah. Said that. And we live in that area, so we have to follow his rules. <laughs> That's how it works. And it's not just corned beef; it's like any of the traditional. Yeah, it has Irish. to be traditional Irish. <laughs> type of celebratory foods. Right. Which I'm pretty good with because I love the Reuben. Gotta get low. I got a sangria called Goodbye Phoebe. It's very good. I already had a few drinks. It was literally full up to the brim. But <laughs> we went and saw a house today. I love it. It does need a few updatings, like there, the bathroom is, I can let me grab my I didn't even notice actually the bathroom in the pictures, Melissa was like, look at the flowers in the yeah. sink, and I, I was know. like. That's what someone in my work said too, they are like, are you going to keep that? I'm like, uh, no. I was like, what flowers? And she's like. <laughs> work. Don't show them the address. I'm not. Everything. I'm all here, I'll just bring up the pictures. Like, focus. You gotta like put your hand behind it. Oh, it's, gosh darn it. Okay, well that big white thing is a very big one. <laughs> you cannot do that. <laughs> you gotta, look, go, give me your phone. You gotta like start like this and then come in very slow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the view you get. Right, let me find the back. Like these French doors. Love that. There's a cute little. Like, Maybe it's better if you. Oh, do you have your lock mine. on? Yeah. Will it let us turn it sideways? Yeah. Oh, much better. Great idea from Drew as usual. Um, there's a cute little like lock, like what's it? Skeleton key. Yeah, a skeleton key. Like think about the old keys, like with 
like what they would call teeth on them, basically. Yeah, that's it unlocked. Those you know, have you ever watched Lock and Key? Like one of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, so this bathroom. Let me try to zoom in. So this, this would have to go. Andrew didn't even fit it in the bathroom. We're gonna have to talk loud. But. Look at the flowers in the sink. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until someone pointed it out. Not only do they have flowers in the sinks, all the oh, oh, show oh, the address. Oh. <laughs> all the handles had the same flower design. I kind of liked it. I did not. That made me feel like a retired person should be living there. I but liked it. Odds are, since Corey's head over heels for it, we'll be placing an offer, but I have to do the math and the actual financial part of it while Corey does the designing part of it. Yeah. Okay. So, another update that I'm sure you guys will hear later, and every time you'll probably see us get a little bit sadder and sadder <laughs> until we're so defeated that we're like, we're renewing our lease. <laughs> so, we'll keep you updated. Here's what Andrew got, the shrimp scampi. Come out okay? Good. You need anything good. else? I think we're good for right, now. You guys enjoyed. Thank you. Okay. Andrew got the shrimp scampi. He's eating my homemade chips. My yes, sir, lemon. Mahi mahi sliders, and I don't want this pickle. Yes, sir. They're burnt lemon. Garnish. For what? You like. There's peas. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, I'm okay. Good thick pieces of look how thick <laughs> Two seeds at least. The first bite of the Mahi Mahi burgers. Oh my look at the juice. Oh. I like how you like tried to cover it up but didn't actually at all. <laughs> How is it? Really good. Good job, Wolf Creek Tavern. A very good from Corey's. Not easy to get. Okay. And that brings us to the end of this video. It's about a little over 20 minutes, so we can just make another video of the other ones. They're... I think we did a lot better explaining like all the houses that we looked at and also I didn't really show like the inside of a lot of houses just because of like privacy for those like families or whoever was living there I didn't want to completely just like show their entire house and obviously you're watching these and we're living in a condo right now so clearly we didn't get any of the houses that we looked at and also this last house that we were talking about we ended up not putting an offer on. It was just in an area, um, it was, it's south of where we are now and there's not really literally like anything by it. I think there was genuinely like one stoplight and so we just kind of thought about it and realized like it's not actually an area where we would want to be. We like a little bit more city-ish. So yeah. Um, and if we are, we still do get emails for houses that go up for sale daily. So we are kind of looking, but we're not like, we're not like actively going and looking at houses, if that makes sense. But hopefully our dream house will come along soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be editing another one here shortly and yeah, have a great rest of your day guys. Bye.